Hi, it's an EQ from the Whittlesea Supported Playgroup team and I'm here today on the land of the Wurundjeri people. I'd like to tell you a story today based on the original story, Wombat Stew, which is about a cheeky dingo and a little wombat. And this is how it goes. One day out in the bush, there was a dingo who caught a wombat. Oh, yum, he said, I'm going to make some wombat stew with you. Oh, no, please don't, please don't, Mr. Dingo. The dingo got his pot and put it on the fire and put some water in the fire and waited till it started to boil. Oh, he was excited for his dinner of wombat stew. And as he stirred his pot, he danced around the fire singing a song. And it went, wombat stew, wombat stew, yummy, yummy for my tummy, wombat stew. Just then, wombat's friend, kangaroo, came hopping by. Boing, 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 boing. Oh, good day, dingo. <laughs> hey, kangaroo, how you going? Yeah, yeah, all right. What, what, what are you making there? I'm making some wombat stew. Oh. Wombat stew? Don't worry, Wombat. I'll get you out of here. Hey, um, if you're making Wombat stew, yeah, you need rocks in there. Rocks? Thought the dingo. Of course. Oh, yeah, I need some rocks in my Wombat stew. Hold on, I'll go get you some. So Kangaroo went and bought some rocks and Dingo put them in his pot. Thanks for that. Yeah, no problem. And Kangaroo hopped away. The dingo got his spoon and he mixed up his pot. And as he mixed, he sung the words. Wombat stew, wombat stew, yummy, yummy for my tummy, wombat stew. All right, wombat, in you go. Just as he was about to put poor little wombat into the stew, <gasps> along came Possum. Help me, help me. Don't worry, I'll get you out of here, whispered Possum. Uh, Hey Dingo, g'day Possum, how you going? Yeah, all right. What are you making there? It smells all right. I'm making some wombat stew. Would you like some? Oh, no, 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 thank you. But um, I've heard if you're making wombat stew, you got to put gum leaves and gum nuts in it. Gum leaves and gum nuts, of course. Why didn't I think of that? Yeah, I'll go get you some. So Possum went up to the highest tree, collected some gum nuts and some gum leaves and put them in the pot. Oh, thanks. Yeah, that smells much better, said Dingo. Yeah, no problem. I'll see you soon. Dingo stirred his pot. And as he stirred, he sang, Wombat stew, wombat stew, yummy, yummy for my tummy, wombat stew. All right, here we go, wombat, in you go. No, stop. <gasps> Along came Emu. Ooh. Hello, Dingo. Haven't seen you around for a while. How have you been? Yeah, yeah, not bad, not bad. I'm just making some yummy wombat stew. I'm starving. Oh, you're missing something. What? Something else? What am I missing? You're missing some feathers. Of course, some feathers to make it nice and chewy. That's right. So Emu turned around and plucked some of her finest feathers from her tail and put them in the pot. There you go, Dingo. <laughs> oh, thanks for that, Emu. Yeah, no problem. Dingo stirred his pot, and as he stirred, he sang the words. Wombat stew, wombat stew, yummy, yummy for my tummy, wombat stew. All right, now it's time for that juicy wombat to go into my pot. As he was about to lower wombat into the pot, along came Frogneck and said, Stop! What? Hey, I heard you make a wombat stew. Yeah, yeah, I am. Did you want some? Oh, no, but if you are making one batch stew, you must put bugs and grubs in it. Bugs and grubs? Oh, okay. So, frogneck lizard dug into the dirt and he got some spiders, Ooh. some moths, some wiggly worms and some grubs. Ooh and some caterpillars and bugs. Oh, that looks good, Dingo. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this, Tucker. All right, well, I better go then. See ya. Dingo stirred his pot 
and as he sang, as he stood, he sang, Wombat stew, wombat stew, yummy, yummy for my tummy, wombat stew. Okay, now we're ready. Now, wombat, it's time for you to go in. And just as he was about to lower wombat into the pot, all the bush friends yelled out, Dingo, stop! What? Hang on. You've got to try it before you put wombat in. Oh, yeah. Okay, I better give it a try. Dingo put his spoon into the pot and had a big gulp of his wombat stew. Mm. Ah, yuck, what have you done? You've poisoned me. And Dingo ran away into the bush, never to be seen again. And Wombat was safe, thanks to his bush friends. Wombat stew, Wombat stew, yummy, yummy for my tummy, Wombat stew. And that's the end of the story. Maybe you'd like to make some wombat stew with some pots and pans in your backyard. Maybe you can find some feathers or some rocks or some mud and make a nice big pot of wombat stew. Thanks. I'll see you soon. Bye.